Christine, hi, I'm Matt Boomer from Beltway International. Nice to meet you. It's great to talk to you. We're looking to buy a truck for our produce business. Tell me, give me an idea what we're... For your landscape business? Oh, for landscape That's awesome. I Sorry, my other you. husband does. That's your other side of your business. Well, yeah, that's something like that. So I understand you have mostly Fords in your fleet now. We actually have all Fords right now. Okay. Um, don't do a lot of our own service, but kind of seeing what, that, what else is out there as far as power, service something more comfortable for my drivers. We do a lot of snow removal. Okay. So they sit in the truck quite a bit. We idle a lot. So tell me what's going to make it most comfortable and efficient for me. All right, well, that's great. So it's actually, we redesigned the 4300 to, and, and it's now an MV. Okay. So the MV has a number of upgrades and a number of different features that's going to certainly help you in those all those things. Okay. So when you come over here, we'll start kind of, I'll, I'll go, we'll go over all of them. try not to bore you to death, but there's some important features that you definitely want to notice. So the first one is that we used to use sea loop mirrors. You still still can get those if you need those, but these new pedestal mirrors will offer you better line of sight from the driver's perspective, and it'll also give you a little better ergonomics, easier to use. One uh, one installation point instead of two. Okay, is that a breakaway? It is a breakaway. Okay. So it's the same as your car mirror. It comes right down. So you want to try not to snap those off. Yeah. That's a beautiful. It's definitely plan. Another um, other important important things to do we changed are um, the door itself and the body itself. We got some reinforcement. It also eliminated this side okay. vent here. Okay. What that does for you is if again it's wind noise, both of these things contribute to wind noise. If you have a sea loop and you have that vent mirror, there's a lot of air infiltration no matter what you do, and there's a lot of noise going around that. So this little fairing and that elimination helps you with tremendously with the noise. We also added a lot of um, cab insulation, so it's very, very quiet. I mean, it really is an exceptionally quiet cab. On the outside, um, we offer uh, a number of different frames. This one's an 80,000 pound PSI frame, and it's huck bolted. Okay. That's kind of an important feature because that is a more permanent fixture. It's not, and they're not, you don't need to retort these bolts ever. It's one shot deal. Seem like you guys redesigned your step entry. Yeah, we did actually. Okay. So it provides you with a little bit more of a staircase instead of a straight up and down. Okay. It also offers you uh, better better placement, so they're they're a little bit. Just looking as far as safety, my guys getting exactly. in and out seems to be exactly. better. Exactly. So for on safety, you go inside here. You also notice that redesigned the door panel. This, this door panel is actually another handle. So oh, you have a safety handle okay. here. And you have a safety handle over here. The safety handle here can handle 300 pounds. Hopefully your drivers aren't 300 pounds, but you never know. Well, I drive someone not there yet, so we're good. Yeah, you're not there yet. <laughs> not even close. All right, so if you want to... So actually, you mind if I climb up? Absolutely. Come on, tell me what we got going on here. So... When we went and redesigned, we took all of uh, a couple years and a whole lot of drivers, and all their input came together and put together this dash and put together all the things that they wanted. Okay. So if you notice, all the all the buttons you need to touch on a daily or a, a all the time basis are right in front of you. We um, now do we, I have more options over here? You do. Or, you have a okay. radio option over here. So if you do an upgrade on that, you can get a radio option. If you notice, you have the liquid crystal display over here. Uh, that'll give you, depending on which way we go, that either has uh, a whole lot of virtual gauges, which gives you speedometer, miles uh, per gallon, all sorts of information right, right at your fingertips using this toggle right here. Okay. Any idea on what uh, suspension options I have, just as far as making everything more comfortable sure. for my drivers? <clears throat> so this one's set up with a 10,000 pound front and a 19 rear and a 23.5 suspension. That's spring suspension. Okay. Now, for dump trucks, I think you're probably going to stay with the spring suspension, but you also have uh, air ride suspension, which typically gets used more in like um, moving trucks. Mm -hmm. But that'll give you a little bit more comfortable ride and give you the ability to raise and lower if you're going up to a loading dock. Okay. So, again. Um, Something we didn't change, which I like. Didn't change Lots that. Storage. We did, it, did add LCD lighting. Nice. So, it's just some added features there. And you also notice this fuse panel right here, readily accessible, yes. it's out of the way. It also has a ring around here that if you were to inadvertently spill something on it, 
You're not going to get anything in there. Okay. It also is a nice <clears throat> place to put your tablet or to write any contracts on it if you've got a driver that needs to have a working space. So right there, so you have that. Excellent. So what's my fuel capacity look like? Right now you have a 70 gallon tank. Okay. But you can get options up to make it, you know, kind of two dual 70s, dual 50s, all the way down to a 40. Let's open the hood. Just Absolutely. Tell me about that. Can I, just for a second there. Yeah. This shifter kind of was was replaced. All right. You'll notice that you you probably notice that more in your for your vocation because mm -hmm. oftentimes you're probably gonna have a third person in here. Right. Well, this gives you the ability to put that third person in there because then you don't have that big bulky shifter right here. that sticks out. Now if I'm putting more than three people in here. You have three options here. You have the standard cab which you're in now. Okay. You have the extended cab which allows you a rear seat but still two doors. And then you have a quad cab, which can be four doors, huge amount of space. Perfect. And that'll hold six? That'll definitely hold six. Definitely. Yep. Sounds good. So in your Fords, you know what the engine was on the on your Fords now? And the transmission? No, it's not my head, no. Okay. Well, I would guess that they're probably Cummins and they're probably awesome, and you probably had really good experience with that. We did have good experience with Cummins, I know. Well, that's uh, our stuff, Allison had a great warranty for us, so if they've uh, anything they issues we had with them, they took care of for us. So that's, that's great. Good experience. With that's them. great experience. So that's what we have now. We have Cummins B67. Okay. You actually have an option to do an L9, which is the larger version of the Cummins that goes up to 350 and a thousand foot pounds of torque. Probably not for you. Just because of what you're doing and how you most of your drivers are non-CDL drivers. Correct. Okay, so that those are going to be a CDL trucks. So this one is rated at 26,000 pounds, even though we have the larger front and rear. We've accommodated that and made sure that it's still uh, derated to that. Perfect. V67 comes in 200 horsepower to 520 torque, and, and it goes all the way up to 325 horsepower and 750 torque. Okay. Your application right here is. series for that gives you up to 33,000 pounds of uh, your SPF refined weight. In addition to uh, power that I've got, I do a lot of city driving. So I do some bridges, some tighter spaces, give me an idea on turning radius, yep. cab heights, things like that. So the uh, International MV has got a BBC of 107. When you're currently operating, it's got a BBC of 114. It's also a setback axle, so it's going to give you a better turning radius and up to a 50% wheel cut is actually going to give you even more. So it, compared to your Fords, you're really going to you'll notice that right off the bat. The other thing you might notice as well is, I should have mentioned this in the first, when you're stepping in, your Fords have a really low ceiling compared to this truck. Right. So when you're stepping in, I've, I've done it a couple times, and I've bashed my head on that. This actually gives you the opportunity to look, it just it is a much roomier cab overall. So that'll, that'll give you a little bit easier access and grass for your drivers as well. Perfect. Yeah. If they're ever Keep complaining about, all right. If they're ever complaining about that, oh my God, that cab is so tight because they spent an awful lot of time in there. That'll, that'll definitely help you out. Perfect. Um, did you have any other questions, or is there something? Else? Um, I do. Just curious, as far as we are, um, we have had some issues in the past with our transmission. What kind of warranty coverage is your stuff? Right. Fall so under? the truck has a standard two-year warranty. Okay. The uh, Allison transmission has a three-year unlimited miles warranty. The Cummins engine has a three-year unlimited miles warranty. Okay. Um, and um, frame has seven years. Cab has five years for perforation. Okay. Um, and there's every component on this truck has its own individual uh, vendor. Like the, the axles are, are covered under Meritor. Frames, I mean, uh, the transmission is covered under Allison. So it kind of but it all blends together. Now, are those uh, warranties that I'd have to use Beltway for? Do you guys have more service places? You can use you can use Beltway for it. We obviously encourage that. We have eight locations for service, and we have nine locations overall. Okay. Um, and we do have the largest dealer network in the country, with over 797 dealerships all over the all over the country. So really, anywhere you're going, you're covered. In Maryland, we've got Northeast, we've got Cumberland, we've got three locations in Baltimore. Got Annapolis, so really anywhere around here, you're going to be able to 
pull into a shop readily. Not quite as easy as McDonald's, but almost. Gotcha. Uh, looks like you're making my transition to international a bit easier. Yeah, the, the one thing we didn't touch on was the uh, front. So in your application for snow removal, you have a 20 inch bolt on snow removal package. Correct. So you can bolt that on, readily available. Or you can have a four inch bumper extension just to protect the front of the boat. Thanks for your time. I really appreciate it. It was great to talk to you, Francine. Very good.